Hey guys, what's going on? This is Rob from Clicks Geek, and I just wanted to make this quick video, kind of going through one of our one of our campaigns here. And this one is going to be kind of like a PPC case study, but just briefly, just showing some stats from a, a client we had for a while, and um, recently paused due to all this crazy stuff going on. But anyway, this is the HVAC repair slash replacement niche, and this one is uh, very interesting. So if you take a look at the quick preview stats. They had a very healthy budget. They were spending 700 a day. Well, that was their set budget. They weren't really spending that much. But anyway, 26,000 impressions, 1,200 clicks, 4.4% uh, click-through rate, which is not you know wonderful but not terrible. Average cost per click, 17 bucks. Spent about 21 grand. Got 328 inbound leads, and that's a mix of phone calls and form submissions. Probably, I'd say, 80% phone calls, inbound phone calls. And 20% forms. Cost per lead was 64 bucks, which is right on target where we wanted to be. Right around 65 dollars. Conversion rate at 27%, which is anything above 20 is what we aim for. Anything above 20 is a win for us. So 27% is a really awesome. Now there's a couple things I want to talk about. The conversion rate here. So this is not a typical conversion rate. Um, in most HVAC in niches, stuff like this, like with repair replacement stuff, people are seeing anywhere from like seven to fifteen percent so we do a lot of landing page testing and tweaking sometimes we'll change a landing page two or three times a week until we get it dialed in because we want it like i said before our goal is to always get it above twenty percent conversion rate because that's just the magic spot where the leads start getting more affordable and they come more in volume and that's where we always want to be next up is the ad groups and the keywords so this is really important so it, as you can see it right in the screenshot we're going after repair replacement like i said before so our keywords are all very high intent. They're not just HVAC as a keyword or heating and cooling as a keyword. It's um, emergency HVAC repair, emergency HVAC replacement, emergency HVAC services, you know, H HVAC repair services, HVAC repair company, um, HVAC replacement company, services, etc. It's all very high intent people looking for a company or a service to come fix a problem they have. So that's a really, really big difference when it comes to a lot of how everyone else runs their campaigns and how we do it. A lot of people just run broad, like HVAC or heating and cooling systems, stuff like that. And you're going to drag in all kinds of crap, irrelevant clicks, and you're going to waste a ton of money going after stuff like that. So we try to avoid all of that stuff. Now, next is our landing page. And I, obviously, I'm not going to show you our landing page here because we spent so much money dialing it and it works for this space. But all I can say is we've went through probably about, let's say, 17 changes just for this one client in landing page tweaks to get it dialed in to 27%. Um, same principles as every other landing page. It's basically you want to only give them three options. You want them to click the call on their phone on your landing page or pick up the phone call if you're not on them on a mobile device when they see your ads. Um, you want them to fill out a form and become a lead, or you want them to leave. You don't want to get them chasing off different links or different pages and going all over the place and losing interest. So we only want those three actions. We want them to call, submit a form, or leave. That's really it. On to the next. That's okay if they leave. It happens. Now the budget here is kind of insane. Um, obviously a lot of people aren't going to be doing this. This guy was kind of on the higher end of... Um, daily budget wise usually our HVAC guys that we do have anywhere from a hundred to 150 a day budget and I highly suggest that you, you either save the save up and uh, for a month or two until you can afford that before you start a campaign or um, or you just start out at that because it's, it's really important that you set the correct budget otherwise this is never gonna work I mean you, you gotta have to spend money to dial campaigns in there's no shortcut no matter what anyone tells you about any kind of Google ad stuff with budgets and stuff like that you got to spend money to dial it in it's just the way it is so if you guys have any questions about this hvac campaign i would love to um, answer them in the comments below this video just um drop them down there and also check out the links in the description i put some stuff in there for you guys